Hi everybody, it's Jen from Jen's Junk Journal Gems. And today I am showing you some of the books that I have uh, collected um, to make my nature junk journals. Um, a really popular um, book, and actually books, is by Edith Holden, The Nature Notes of an Edwardian Lady and the Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady. Um, they're absolutely fantastic. Um, the uh, pages are thick and they're already yellowed. So if you're after a vintage look, these are perfect. There's a lot of prose, a lot of poetry included as well as the images that she's known for. Um, this one has um, a little bit of uh, writing in addition to the typing. And I just, I, I find her imagery just stunning. Um, it's so versatile as well. If you wanted to do a botanical junk journal, or a nature theme, or an animal theme. Um, she's pretty much got it all in here, uh, in these books here. Nice thick paper. I mean, you can certainly do tea staining um, with this paper, but it's already yellowed, and uh, God, it's just gorgeous, that image. Um, I don't really think it's necessary. I mean, I still go around the edges, even though they are a little bit darker yellow, I go around the edges with the Tim Holtz uh, vintage photo ink just to darken them up a little bit, make them look more weathered. That's a great book. <coughs> Excuse me. And this is the other one, another one of my favorites, The Country Diary. It's a little bit different. There's no typing um, in this book. And the pages actually are much thicker, very thick paper. Um, it's it's a month by month compilation of um, some of you know diary entries, um, sketches, uh, paintings, like just absolutely gorgeous. I I cut out this and used used it for the top of a tag in my own journal, um, as well as this imagery imagery here. But it's just stunning. Absolutely stunning. And you can see how stiff the pages are. I'm kind of having to, you know, hopefully you can see everything. Um, birds, plants. I mean the colors are muted but they're but they're beautiful. Just gorgeous. It's almost like watercolor paint. Anyhow, so Edith Holden, um, you know, I, I don't think you can order these from Amazon anymore. Um, but if you do look up um, the title, you may be able to see uh, third-party sellers that sell these books. That's how I was able to obtain them. Uh, this book here I bought from a local used bookstore. It is... It doesn't have a lot of imagery in it. Um... But there's black and white and color. I mean, look at that. It's just gorgeous in the chipmunks. We get a lot of those around here. Uh, there's black and white and color. Lots of um, papers here that you could use for tags and incorporate into your journal. And squirrels. What I did was I, I went to uh, a used bookstore and I pulled up a, a step stool and just sat down and thumbed through um, all kinds of books and, uh, and selected those that I thought that I could use. 
So you can always get them at a reasonable price and um, you know, you're also supporting a local business. So I've got that book, which is great. Oh, let's see, another one of my favorites here is The Undercliff by Elaine Franks. This is one of my favorite books. I'm going to have to look at getting another one. I actually used some of her pages for the junk journal that I made for myself. This came from the Undercliffs as well as the back. And one thing I forgot to mention is if you're finding that, um, you know, the book has uh, shiny uh, pages, like in the next book I'm going to show you, this is something that I picked up. It's, I uh, hope the lighting's okay. It's uh, Mod Podge Matte Spray, and that's what I've used on the paper, and it actually takes some of that shine out if that's not what you're after. Um, when I make my junk journals, they tend to be more of a vintage theme, so uh, shiny paper doesn't really, um, you know, jive well with the, uh, the whole idea of it being vintage. Absolutely stunning. Stunning, stunning. I use that image for uh, a tag in one of my journals. I mean, the, the color with the black and white and then the, the writing, you know, uh, explaining, you know, each stage. It's, it's just, it's just amazing. I, I love this book so much. I mean, you can use this as the front page of a journal uh, on the cover and, you know, this as the back of the cover. But the, the color, colors and the, the pictures are, are just amazing. I love this book. Look at that. Yeah, it just captures the beauty so well. So, yeah, this is The Undercliffs by Elaine Franks. And another book that I picked up um, from the used bookstore, it's um, Audubon Nature Encyclopedia. Um, it doesn't have a lot of imagery in it, but I thought that it would be kind of interesting to include, you know, tags with um, uh, encyclopedia information about um, different animals. There's some pictures, but there's, you know, diagrams, um, you know, the habitats, it explains, um, you know, life cycles. So you want to keep in mind when you are searching for a book to use um, for any kind of journal, whether it's nature themed or, or otherwise, um, encyclopedias are uh, a real gem um, to have on hand. Um, yeah, so that's that book there. This one, again, from a used bookstore, it's called... The Curious Naturalist and I actually used um, uh, this cover photo it was inside and I used it for inside my junk journal. <clears throat> now this is what I was talking about. These um, they're very thin paper. It's I mean regular book paper um, but it's very shiny so what I had to do was um, spray it with that matte spray and it took some of the shine off. But this is another great book, too. It's actually done by Regions Partridge. We've got partridges here in the bush. They're hard to see, and they're 
actually quite silly because they'll run right in front of your car. <clears throat> Pine Martin had one of those try to go after one of my chickens when I had my chickens here. So, yeah, there's some really nice imagery here as well. I use the other part of that butterfly. Uh, these are desert creatures. So yeah, this is this is a really interesting book too. I'm I'm glad that I got it. That's beautiful. Life in a pond. All right. So that's that. The curious naturalist. Um, now, what I've also got was, oh, I'm going to show this one first. What I got was a book, um, a botanical, um, Explorer's Botanical Notebook. Again, from the used bookstore. And I really, I haven't had a chance actually to really go through this uh, as much. I plan on making um, gar a garden journal for myself. Um, so I thought that by picking up a botanical uh, book, I could include some of the imagery. I mean, this, these sheets, I don't know how long they are here. If I were, I don't know. They're unusually long, so, I mean, if you were to fold this in half, um, you know, there you've got, uh, you know, two pages for your junk journal. This is also by region, and it shows the maps where they came from, and it identifies what you're looking at. So if you're into making, you know, uh, a botanical or, or a garden journal, this book uh, is really great. And because the pages are so long, um, you know, you don't have to trim too much, of course, depending on the size of journal that you're making. So yeah, just different specimens. So I have yet to really dive into this book too much, but I'm glad that I got it. And this one here, the final book that I have to show you today. Wildflowers of the World. Now this, <laughs> it's massive, it's heavy, and wait till you see the imagery. You're just, oh my gosh, you're gonna die. These are, are thick like cardstock, so they're beautiful papers. And it goes by um, where everything is in the world. Let's see if I can get to. Oops, somebody left something in there. I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but I got this from the used bookstore too. Now, I should probably flip, but this book is so big. I absolutely adore this book. They make wonderful tags, uh, wonderful pockets, and if you don't mind the, you know, little numbers here, because you can see that everything is, um, you know, it's indexed as to what the plant is, but um, I mean, that doesn't bother me at all, having that there. It, I mean, it is a junk journal after all. Um, absolutely, absolutely stunning. And this book is so big that it's going to take me a long time to actually use it all up. So I'm really, really glad that I found it. Look at the colors. It just, they're just, they pop right off the page. They're absolutely stunning. 
I don't know because I did get this from the used bookstore. I'm not sure whether or not you can still purchase it. But again, um, what I do to find a title is either I go onto Amazon and see if it's offered by third parties or um, I will Google the book name and see what comes up in my search. And sometimes um, I know that there's a couple of different places the names escape me right now, um, that you can order books from, uh, older books. And you can get them at a discount as well. I mean, this book goes on and on and on. I hope I'm not flipping too fast, but um, there's a lot to this book, and you kind of get the idea. It's just page after page after page of stunning imagery. I know I keep saying stunning, but uh, there's no no other way to describe it. I've used that for something. It looks like a tag. <laughs> and I still have quite a bit left in the book. So anyway, this, this book is worth its weight in gold. Um, again, you don't even have to be using it for... Um, you know, a theme like a botanical or garden or nature. Um, you can use this just simply because they're beautiful pictures. Um, oh, passion flower. I can't grow that here. The climate's too cold. This morning when I got up, it was oh, minus 25 Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but it was darn cold. So I've had the wood stove going on all day. Anyhow, that's, uh, that's a fantastic book. Um, now, let me see what they had. He ended up giving me a deal. It's listed here for $18.75 Canadian, but I know that because I bought a group of books, um, you know, he, he gave me a discount. So this one uh, must have. Uh, I, I just love it. I love the thickness of the paper. Um, it, it's almost like buying uh, cardstock. So anyhow, I hope that that's helpful. And um, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them below. And if you like this video, please hit like and subscribe. I plan on um, videoing some tutorials of how I do my junk journals um, as well as um, uh, some supplies um, that I use and uh, and anything that's of interest if you want um, me to do a video on something um, please leave it in the comments and I get notifications and so I'll um, I'll respond to you okay great have a good day bye bye